okay? So make sure that you're paying attention. And again, these notes will be made available to you all later. All right, so what is the Gnostic belief on God, okay? What do they think or what do they say about God? All right, so in Gnosticism, this is what they say. In Gnosticism, God is an evil God that hates humanity called the Demiurge, is seen as a fool because thinks he is the only true God. But there are many gods. Many Gnostics believe Satan and the Christian God is the same entity. In Gnosticism, the Trinity here is God the Father. That's the most high um, God, but it's not the Demiurge, okay? So this is, um, the Demiurge is a lesser God, okay? Um, and like I said, he's an evil God, all right? Um, so um, in Gnosticism, God the Father, God the Mother, and God the Son. So whenever you hear teachings that say something like God the Mother or the Mother Goddess or whatever, stuff like that, that you know right off the bat that's Gnostic. That's not Christian. In fact, God the Mother, an example of this is Mormonism. Mormonism, we have a Heavenly Mother. Okay? So you have God the Father, God the Mother, God the Son. Okay? Now here are some... Um, article proof so that you know that what I'm saying is not like I made this up. One of the things that you have to understand about not just apologetics, but just giving a defense of anything, you have to have your source. Like you have to have some type of information or some type of source that that is used to back up what it is that you are saying. And it has to be valid. It cannot just be fairy tales because that's exactly what Gnostics do. They'll say certain things, but they will have no basis of what they're saying. They're literally saying, well, that's what I feel or whatever and et cetera. But guess what? Your feelings can deceive you as the Bible clearly points out. So Il de Bios who corresponds to Zeus in Orphic and Platonic metaphysics is called the Demiurge or the Lord of the world. The Gnostics believe that it was this Demiurge to whom Jesus referred when he spoke of the prince of the world who had nothing in common with him. So again, if you understand the scripture, Jesus is clearly talking about the devil, but instead Gnostics said, oh, he's talking about the Demiurge. Okay, the demiurge was the personification of matter, the monad of the material sphere, the seed of the world within, which locked the patterns of all generated things. Il de Bayoth gave birth out of himself to six sons who, together with their father, became the seven planetary spirits. Let's go to the next um, um, piece of evidence. Il de Bayoth as may be inferred from his origin, was not a pure spirit. For while he inherited from his mother, generating wisdom, instinct, and cunning, as well as an intuitive realization of the universal immensity, he also received from his father. Oh, that's interesting. Matter, the qualities of ambition and pride, and these dominated his composition. With a sphere of plastic substances at his command, Il de Bayot, um severed himself from his mother in her sphere of intelligence, determining to create a world according to his own desires. Wow. Now, the next part. When Il de Bayot beheld his creation greater than himself, so this is talking about mankind here, Mankind, his anger blazed forth with jealous rage. He looks inspired by his passions were reflected downward to the great abyss as upon the polished surface of a mirror. This reflection apparently became inspired with life for all bodies are but in soul shadows. And from the abyss arose Satan in the form of a serpent, the embodiment of envy and cunning. So 
again, this is why Gnosticism is very weird because they change their doctrines a lot. So you'll have one instance where Satan is the demiurge and, or the Christian God, they're, they're the same. And another where um, it says reflection. So the, so Satan is part of the demiurge. This is just his extension, his anger, his envy, and all that is personified in Satan. But then you have some Gnostics who said, oh, Christians made up Satan. This is why like Gnosticism is very dangerous and it's absolutely just, it, it is just a hot mess. So let's continue here. The slides are available via Patreon. Link in description. Join us for class on Saturday as we continue to break down different religions.